I'm about to give you a 12 years of web design knowledge, the stuff I wish someone told me earlier. Let's go! You can basically put a good web design down into three things. Layout, typography and color. Once you understand how those three work together, you start seeing why some websites feel cheap while others look expensive. So today I'm gonna analyze three levels of web design using this one example. I will show you how I would take it from a $50 website to something that you can charge even a $15,000 per project. Let's start with the level one, a $50 website. This is your classic, I grab a random template and swapped with my logo situation. Straight away, it feels like three different websites match into a one. The icon style here, illustration style there, different font sizes, different section layouts, color shifting from the orange to blue. Nothing is really wrong individually, but together it doesn't feel like a cohesive brand. To make this look more expensive, without changing much, you would pick one visual language and stick to it. Same icon style, same type scale, same spacing, same corner radius, same orange system. Even a simple template can start looking designed once everything speaks the same language. Now, for the layout, this is where cheap websites really expose themselves. If you zoom in, the spacing is completely random. You will see stuff like 13 pixels here, 27 pixels there, 19 pixels between the section, basically number picked with vibes, not intention. A super easy way to fix that is to use 8-point grid. It just means that every spacing value is a multiple of an 8. So instead of 13, we're gonna use 16 pixels. Instead of 27, we're gonna use 24 pixels. Instead of 19, we're gonna use 16 pixels, and so on. Once you got that, the whole thing instantly feel calmer and more premium. This layout is also trying to follow the F-shape pattern. Heading on the left, image on the right, little text underneath. And yes, this was super popular back in the day using the F pattern to improve how we read the websites, but not anymore. People don't politely read in one pattern, they scroll like gremlins, they skim, bounce, scan, jump section, check mobile and come back later. To fix this, we would make the headline bigger and clearer, shorten the subheading, turn one button into a primary city A and make the other secondary. Use contrast so the CTA actually pops and keep the hero copy focused on one idea. The goal is in 3 seconds I know what this website does and why should I care. Next issue, the white space. There is no breathing room, it's hard for users to scan and almost impossible to skim. White space isn't just a wasted space, it's how you separate your ideas. So here I would increase vertical spacing between sections, add more padding inside each content block and create a rhythm, big section, smaller section, big section. The rhythm keeps people scrolling and makes this page feel more thoughtful and premium. And finally, for level one, typography. Headings that's not that much bigger than a body text, tiny paragraphs that are painful to read on desktop and no clear system. To fix this, I would create a really simple type scale. H1, large and bold, main message, H2, medium, section titles, body, something like 16, 18 pixels, easy to read, and maybe one smaller label size for detail, all using one font family. So that's level one. Random spacing, outdated layout thinking, no white space, inconsistent styles, and chaotic type. Now let's update those things and move into level two. Same website, same idea, but now it look a bit more respectable. This is kind of a website that most of the small businesses end up with. It's clean, it's simple, it's less embarrassing, but why is it still mint? Even though it looks much better, it's still missing the things that make a premium website. Strong messaging. A copy is generic, it says a better way to make any solution, which means absolutely nothing. Right now we got a mix of different colors and it's not ideal for this SaaS website. A very simple color guide would be 60-30-10. 60% for neutral, white, light grey, very soft background. 30% brand color. Here is the orange. And then 10% for accents, like the CTAs. 
Of course, you can mix different colors, but if you only starting out in web design, 60-30-10 rule is your safe bet. So level 2 is clean and functional and honestly, you can build a good career designing a level 2 website. But if you want those 5k, 10k projects, you need to hit level 3. This time, instead of focusing on the visual aspects, we're gonna go deeply into strategy of the website. So what's changed in level 3? The hero now has a clear statement. Who this is for, what it does and why should you care? Much more direct, much more understandable. Sections now tell a story, a problem, solution, features, social proof, pricing and CTA. And the spacing and structure supports that story instead of stacking the content. We might introduce a display font for the hero, but keep the body text extremely legible. Anything over 7 or 10 words, legibility wins over looking cool. We're gonna use color as a system, not as a decoration. Lastly, we're gonna use images that match the brand. So instead of random SAS mockups or random icons, we're gonna use consistent imaginary and mockups that match our color palette. Same lighting, same vibe, similar angle, so nothing feels like copy and paste from different website. At this level, we are not designing for dribble, we are designing for the results. We need to make sure that it's stupidly clear what happens if I click this button. Can someone just scan the headings and still understand the offer? Do we have social proof in the right places, not just at the bottom? Now, here is the part where most people usually panic and say, Hey Agatha, this is great, but I'm not a designer, I don't know how to code, I don't know how to use Figma. I just want a nice website for my business that doesn't look like a 50 pound version. And honestly, if you don't know how to design or code, I wouldn't even bother to design level 3 from scratch. Instead, I would use the tool that gets me 80% done with AI and I can tweak everything visually. And that's exactly where Hostinger Horizon come in, today partner of the video. Let me show you how I would do it using Horizons. We start with a prompt and this is where most people either win or lose. So instead of saying create a website for the SASP app, you have to be specific and include the things that make a level free design. Create a modern marketing website for SAS dashboard tool, clean layout with 8 point style spacing, strong visual hierarchy, modern typography, soft gradients, loads of white space, clear CTA and focus on conversion. You can also choose the style, colors and overall vibe directly in the horizons. Not that we got a full first draft done in seconds, instead of accepting it blindly, we are gonna refine it. Just like we did going from level 1 to level 3. You can click any text and edit directly on page or select section and use the built-in content editor to rewrite with the prompt. For example, I can select the hero section and say, rewrite this headline to sound more confident and less corporate. Or for a feature blog, summarize this in one sentence and make it even more benefit driven. Horizons also got this little helper called Kodi, and it's basically like a chat GPT built into your website builder. You can ask things like, give me five alternative headlines for SaaS landing, what section should a high converting pricing page include? Suggest improvements to the layout to increase signups. So even if you don't have a copywriter or UX designer, you got this second brain that help you refine everything. And all of this is done visually with no code. It already comes with integrations you actually need to turn a website into a real product. You can connect Superbase to handle things like user account, save data and content. They also support building shop, which means you can sell products, credits or subscriptions without accessing different tool. And also you get access to analytics, so you can understand how people actually use the site. For payments, Horizon integrates directly with Stripe, so subscription, one-time payments and billing. And if you need more control, you can still access the code. And that's it, your hosting, databases, everything sorted. Just hit publish and it's ready. So if you're wondering about the cost, here are the Horizon plans. You can use my discount code, which is designly10, also linked in the description. 
So if you are not ready to pay a designer for a 15k custom build, but you still want something that feels closer to level 3, honestly, this is the easiest way to go. So a quick recap. Level 1 is messy spacing, no hierarchy, random typography that feels cheap. Level 2 is clean and consistent, but generic and not very strategic. Level 3, clear messaging, strong structure, thoughtful visuals, bit for conversion. Whether you designing everything by yourself in Figma or using tools like Hostinger Horizon to help you out, the same rules apply. Layout, typography and color doing their job properly. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite website builder and as always, hit like, subscribe and I see you next time. Bye!